Prediction Ascension Podcast. Hate me or love me, there's no in between. So, Miami Dade. Like, people say people are crazy in the Bronx and all the crazy people live in Florida. That's what they said, right? <laughs> um, They caught this guy, um, a supermarket employee. He was, he, at, a young lady asked, a woman asked, can she use the bathroom? He tells her, <clears throat> I have to move some of the boxes out the way in a private um, bathroom, which everybody knows is boxes everywhere. They, if you work in these establishments, there's boxes everywhere. So that's a legitimate thing to say. So he decides to put his cell phone <laughs> in a box with an opening the f- facing the toilet while the girl is sitting there to take a leak, which makes no fucking sense. I'm confused, bro. <laughs> I'm confused. Why would you do such a thing and you could go to Pornhub, Tumblr, OnlyFans, whether you want you wanted a free video, but who wants a fucking free video of someone urinating? Like, unless you're in the golden showers. Maybe that's your thing. I don't know. It seems like it is. You want to see a, a, a vagina urinating, which is disgusting to me. I don't want to see if I, I don't like squirting is a bunch of bullshit. Like I said before, squirting is urine, nigga. Yes. Cause I tasted it and I, and how I know what urine tastes like, nigga. Cause I tasted my own fucking urine. All right. So you'd be people like, Oh, I, I don't taste my own feces. Don't get it twisted. nigga. I ain't crazy like that. I don't endeavor like that, but I taste my own urine. And when girls be squirting this shit, no, it's urine, bitch. You peed on my fucking shit. All right. Niggas get turned on. It's fucking urine, B. Whatever the fuck out. But, my man, you have to, like, understand you can't do these things. You, you shouldn't have, you, you can't do these things, bro. So, the simple fact that it is, you shouldn't be filming women on toilets. That's the weirdest thing to do. Like, you look like a desperate idiot, but... You should see the nigga mugshot anyway. He looks he looks crazy. But why the fuck is that something possibly it crosses your mind to move boxes out of a storage area and film someone while they're urinating? Film a female? You perv, you weirdo. It's too much you go on Instagram, bro, and follow busty queens and um Laurel Beauties and all that shit. They're literally, they don't show you vagina pics. That's when you got to subscribe to the OnlyFans or go to Pornhub. They're, they're all over the place, bro. You don't have to, you lost your job being an idiot now. Now, it's like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You lost your job being a perv. And they charge you with one count of voyeurism, which is, you know, filming people unwarningly, un- unwillingly, and shit like that. Check out the clip. The shit is just fucking weird, bro. Niggas is losing their minds, man. Now that you said it there, it's just really disturbing. And we actually stopped by the store today. I saw, spoke with the manager who said that the person that at the center of all of this who worked there actually was employed at the supermarket and has been there for quite some time. Shoppers disturbed to hear what happened at the grocery store on Thursday. It's very unfortunate, but, you know, unfortunately, there's people like that that live amongst us. And uh, they have to be punished. Police were called out to the Presidente Supermarket off Northeast 81st Street at North Miami Avenue. The female victim claimed a cell phone was hidden in a bathroom recording without her knowledge. The man accused, 42-year-old Renolfo Vieira, who worked at the shop. Let's walk you through what allegedly happened. Police say the victim asked Vieira to use the private bathroom. He escorted her to the back and said he first had to move some of the boxes out of the restroom. That's what, according to the arrest form, he placed his phone inside a box with a hole in it, positioned it facing the toilet seat, left it recording, and exited the bathroom. The victim then goes in, and prior to taking any pieces of clothing off, she observed a cell phone camera lens inside a box through a hole. She removed it, gave it to Vieta, and then called the police. When they arrived, Look at the mug shot. said he threw the phone Why does he can't open his left eye? He has since been charged with one count of video voyeurism. You got people that are just sick people. 
And we've since learned that Vieta is no longer employed by Presidente. Yo, you can't even call these niggas savages no more. They just weird, bro. What the fuck is gonna film somebody sitting on the toilet? The, the... Sometimes it's just the main thing of not getting caught. You could go out to these ventures in the world, homicide, robbery, voyeurism, um, larceny, scamming, but it's like it's getting to the point that everyone's lazy now. Like, bro. You was too fast with it. You shouldn't have did that shit in the first place. So now you lost your job being the fucking idiot. Be. But it is what it is. These these, you're not gonna learn. T- not you. Well, you learned anyway. You're on unemployment line, B. Because you lost your job in that bullshit setting, man. It, it's terrible. So like, comment, subscribe. Tell me about your squirting days and whatever else you've been doing around here this lifetime. It is what it is, man. Don't be filming nobody, you know, showers, locker rooms, or nothing like that. They go for females, too. It should be a double standard. Don't be filming niggas, neither. Because these women are pervs, too. Letting you know that, man. Predicts and Central Podcast. Hate me or love me. There's no in-between.